Okay, my name is Steve Mason from Solwise, and what I'd like to do now is a show and tell unboxing site video of the EN Station 5 product from, uh, from Ingenious. So the EN Station 5 is uh, an outdoor product which primarily is intended as a point-to-point -point bridge device using 5 gig 300 meg 11N Wi-Fi. Uh, so the software does actually show other supporting modes, but um, as I'll explain in a moment, it really isn't suitable for anything other than a point-to-point -point bridge. But it does that very well, and uh, we've got good sales of the product, and very low support for it, which is just the sort of product we like. So let's get in the box, and let's see what we got. So. Look in the box, obligatory user guide, etc. Put that to one side. Uh, now, uh, now we have the product itself, which I should figure out this noisy polythene bag, first of all. So, it's a dish type product. Um, I would say it's probably about, um, about six inches diameter and probably about an inch and a half thick. Uh, so this uh, is a directional device and built in the front of here are uh, cross-polarized 19 dB uh, 5 gigahertz antennas uh, forming quite a narrow beam so obviously when I mentioned it was really intended for point-to-point -point bridging that's really dictated by the antenna topology on it so one at one end one at the other end bridge link between the two giving you a transparent connection between two buildings and with this high gain antenna um, still staying um, eu stroke uk legal you're still talking about i don't know five kilometer to ten kilometers uh, range with line of sight uh, so quite a nice piece of kit for that and ideal for point to point bridging so another look at that in a moment uh, also in the box I'll take these items out. It comes with a, uh, a PoE injector. Now the device is designed to run from 24 volt PoE. This is a 24 volt PoE injector. Don't try and shove 48 volt PoE or it'll go pop and we will not cover the warranty for that. So use the PoE injector that comes in the box. So this is the P injector which obviously has a LAN in and a LAN plus power out. And also in the box, you've got a, um, a cloverleaf type uh, UK main sleep. So put that to one side. What else we've got in the box? It's exciting, isn't it? So now then, this is an intro. Let me just bring these items out so you can actually see what we're looking at. Right. So these parts here all form part of the uh, tilt and swivel um, mount used for the device. So if we take this out of here, this is the this is the base of the tilt and swivel mount, and this is a um, socket ball which goes into the socket on the front of the mount, and that screws into the mounting hole on the back of the unit. To hold that in place, you have this screw-on bracket. So the um, ball goes through said bracket. Said bracket then screws onto, onto the socket. So as you tighten up, you can imagine that you're actually tightening up uh, the, uh, the actual ball into the socket. However, there's this important little piece here. Now, you probably can't see that, but in there is a little rubber o-ring. Now, the purpose of the rubber o-ring, well, the rubber o-ring goes in the bottom of this socket. So, obviously, you can imagine this ball pushes against the rubber o-ring. So, what the rubber o-ring doing is it's preventing, as it's tightened up, it's preventing this ball and socket from sliding over each other. So, it actually screws onto there, onto that rubber o-ring and gives a much firmer long-term secure solution when these products first came out we did actually mention to ingenious that there would potentially be long-term problems with you can imagine over time this gradually sagging down with uh, uh, wind and that sort of thing affecting it um, and their fix was this little rubber o-ring and i'll be perfectly frank you may scoff at this but we've been sending out this little rubber o-ring solution now for about two years with these products never had a single complaint for anybody that over a period of time 
it starts to droop or lose its alignment. So surprisingly good solution that. So that's the ball and socket. Uh, the mounting base itself has a um, groove on the back suitable for pole mounting and you could, if you wanted, use uh, screw fixing for that to go on a wall because there are actually some, see, some screw lock holes on there. However, you do that, don't use these uh, absolutely rubbish roll plugs and screws that actually come in the box. Throw them in the bin, go get some decent screws and finally in the box uh, if you wanted to to go pole pole mounting, you could actually use a um, a jubilee clip that's also included in the packaging. So that's all the mounting stuff. Let's look at the device itself. So uh, on the side, you've got a series of indicator LEDs showing you uh, LAN connection, power, and Wi-Fi activity. I say you've got that single um, screw hole on the back where the actual um, ball and socket fix fixes. On the bottom we've got this weatherproof flap and there are two cable entry and exit holes on there and that comes off there. So this is a weatherproof device. Um, it's not designed to be thrown into swimming pools and still carry on working. It is weatherproof uh, but we've been selling these now for a couple of years into the uh, standard um, uh, UK stroke EU uh, weather um, environments and not had a single issue with any water ingress. I think we did have one one guy when he insisted on mounting it upside down because it was easier for his cables but obviously that was doomed to failure from the start. Uh, underneath the flap anyway, underneath the flap we have a, a bent paper clip reset pinhole and we have two LAN ports. Uh, one LAN port is for the power and the data going into the unit and the other LAN port is a uh, data only LAN port going out which you could use for secondary equipment mounting the pole but there's no PoE on that second LAN port. So uh, that's the EN Station 5, as I say it's a 300 mega 11N outdoor point to point bridging device and um, quite nicely put together piece of kit as we expect from ingenious products, um, good quality mouldings, nice and sturdy piece of kit and that's it. Thank you very much.